Well, nightmares could be a sign of something more serious. A new study shows those bad dreams could be an early sign of chronic illness. The study published in the Journal of E-Clinical Medicine shows it may be a sign of a disease like lupus or other autoimmune diseases. Well, Dr. Raphael Bellio from Stanford Sleep Disorders Clinic joins us now. So, doctor, first, can you tell us how certain chronic conditions could trigger more vivid and frequent nightmares? Uh, good morning, yes. Pretty much any chronic medical condition will be made uh, worse by not sleeping well. So we know that people, for example, with migraine headaches or with seizures or with depression, all have exacerbations of worsening of those conditions when they don't get enough sleep. That seems kind of an obvious thing to do. But sleep is really how the brain takes care of itself. And um, our best form of self-care is through our sleep. And very few things will, will make you feel better than getting a good night's sleep. Probably this morning, people woke up with getting us to sleep and feeling better. Um, so there's definitely this imbalance um, about the, how sleep is impacting um, overall health. And any chronic disease you have, especially if it's an inflammatory disease, uh, will be made worse by having poor quality sleep. We've seen this in many, many other examples. And this is an important study because it's letting people know that if they happen to have a flare-up of their nightmares, they shouldn't uh, just think of it as something or just pass it off. But it actually can be a tip-off that something is going on uh, with their brains, especially if they already suffer from a chronic disease like lupus. Yeah, and, and some patients also reported feeling more disoriented when they're awake. Uh, what can you tell us about that? There are some other examples of this happening with people. Um, when we work with children, for example, there's a disease called narcolepsy. And narcolepsy is an autoimmune disease, just like type 1 diabetes is. And it begins in some children with um, vivid hallucinations. So they're awake and they start saying things that aren't really there. Uh, and the hallucinations can be so vivid um, that that adults will have it and think it's, uh, we'll call 911, for example, because it's such intense, vivid um, hallucinations they're having. The children, when they have this, sometimes they keep quiet because they're scared. They're going to be told that they're crazy or they have schizophrenia or it gets misdiagnosed with schizophrenia. So having fragments of dreams happening when you are awake, which are, would be these, it's a funny word, hypnagogic, hypnagogic hallucinations or hypnopompic hallucinations. Uh, can be a sign of flare-up of any neurological disease. And it's important to talk about it because people will keep it quiet because they're scared that they uh, have a mental illness that's brewing and not realizing, in fact, it's a sign of another neurological problem occurring. Uh, that, that is fascinating. So if you have been having more frequent nightmares lately, do you recommend seeing a doctor? Sure. I mean, we should be enjoying our sleep. You should wake up feeling refreshed. You should not wake up feeling tired, for example, right? Don't leave restaurants feeling hungry. Don't leave restaurants feeling tired. Um, you should wake up feeling refreshed. So when people have um, early signs of poor sleep, it shows up very sensitive areas are dreaming because dreams dominate the last bit of the night. And typically when you sleep through your dream, you don't remember them the next day. So having awareness of your, of your dreams, especially if they're unpleasant like nightmares, could be a sign of another medical problem going on. So to point out to, to your doctor, it could also be medication effects. A lot of medications affect our sleep and affect our dreaming patterns, for example. Antidepressants classically do this. Is there a difference between dreaming and having a nightmare? It's the same phenomenon being aware of that imagery in your head. So you can talk about mental imagery as a bigger group. Mm -hmm. And I always say that your life's reflected on your sleep and your sleep's reflected on your life. So unpleasant situations that you're in stressful situations will be manifested in that imagery. Mm. Um, there's data on women going through divorce, for example, showing more, more nightmare patterns as, as an example of it. So. Nightmares are unpleasant dreams uh, or anxiety dreams is how we think of them. And, and that's the best way to describe them. So nightmares are a, a subtype uh, of dream. But if you have a pleasant dream, you may not remember it. Or if it's a routine dream, you just kind of doesn't have the memory of it. But the emotional impact of a nightmare is what characterizes them. You wake up, you're, you're fearful, heart racing. Mm. And, and, and that fear goes on and you're scared to go back to sleep or you don't want to even think about it. Those are our nightmares. And yes, those can be a sign of another medical thing going on. Sleep apnea, classically, very commonly, will have uh, choking dreams and nightmare dreams in our patients of, of drowning. I've seen that a few times. People tell me that they have nightmare dreams when they have sleep apnea, and it's just beginning. Well, this is very, very good information. So always, uh, Dr. Rafael Payayo, uh, well, thank you very much for joining us uh, with Stanford Health. Thank you, sir. Thank you so much. Good day, everybody.